Hello there, food lovers. We made a video especially for you, because we know that food is a very important part of our lives. Food allows for great conversations, and it's a great tool to connect with people from different cultures. Wouldn't it be nice to try all the dishes in the world one day? I don't know if I would like that given some of the stuff that is available, though. Today I'm going to introduce you to a variety of dishes that you probably haven't tried yet. That is, unless you're super rich or you have rich friends who treated you to it. So get ready for foods that are only available to the rich. You might be surprised to learn that not everyone has access to these foods. And if you have tried one of them, you are in a very privileged group, and you should be thankful for it. With all that said and done, let's begin, shall we? Number 10. Biluwak. Something that you eat. It's actually something that you drink. But after I tell you how it's made, I'm not sure you're gonna want to try it. Kapi Luwak is a type of coffee that is made from regular coffee beans that quite literally pass through a weasel cap before turning into expensive coffee beans. And when I say pass through, I mean it. The animal lives in the coffee plantations and feeds from the beans, but somehow the beans don't disintegrate while they're in the weasel cat's stomach. Instead, they come out whole, and they're cleaned up before they're turned into a drink that you can buy for the modest price of $425 a cup. That sounds like a ton of money for poop coffee, but people who have tried it say that it's worth it. I don't think I'll ever find out, especially if I have $425 to spare, and a plane ticket to Indonesia, which is where these animals live. I mean, if I'm gonna spend that much money on a cup of coffee, I might as well just travel to the source, am I right? Number 9. Kobe Steak. Would you raise an eyebrow, or would you just go out and try it? Well, I guess before you can accept the invitation, you would need to know what you're getting into. The truth is, Wagyu is literally just a word that means a Japanese cow. But what's so special about Japanese cows? Well, it seems like they're the source of the ultimate meal for anyone who likes to eat meat. Kobe, which is a city in the Hyogo Prefecture, is famous for this type of food. A lot of people go there to eat a type of meat that has a tenderness and texture that they can't find anywhere else in the world. People are so obsessed with this meat that they pay as much as $800 per kilogram. Today, it is possible to export this meat from Japan, so you don't have to travel far if you live out of the country. So, it's likely that you'll see some Kobe beef dishes in restaurants near you. Number 8. Or Tolazi, and probably the breaking of some laws, but I'm just here to tell you about these dishes. The Artolan is a songbird that's been considered a delicacy in the French cuisine for a very long time. Also, it has been the target of tons and tons of mystical tales as well as controversies, and here's why. In order to prepare this dish, they lock the bird inside a dark room or they blindfold it just so it can gobble on a crazy amount of grains. The bird is then put in lots of alcohol before they prepare it and serve it whole to fancy rich guests at prestigious high-class restaurants. Whoever dares to eat this has to put a napkin over their head, which apparently covers their shame from some other people and divine entities. In 1999, the dish did become illegal, but apparently there's a small percentage of the world population that has access to it, even though it is an illegal and horrible practice. Number 7. The Salmon with a Taste of Jazz It is salmon, and even though salmon is relatively more expensive than other types of fish, I wouldn't necessarily say it's only a dish for the rich. But what if this salmon is aired while listening to jazz? Well, apparently that makes it expensive. This is exactly what someone does in Newington, London when he plays jazz music on his piano to the fish before he smokes them. According to his customers, this practice makes the fish taste better, which justifies its 140 US dollar price tag. Who knew that music could do this? I guess if you're a jazz player and you know how to make salmon, you could be making a bit of money. Number 6. Foie gras. In this case, the animal in question is a duck or a goose. Breeders force the duck to eat twice a day for 12 days and a half. And if it's a goose, they feed them three times a day for 17 days in a row. After a long wait, the days of the animal come to an end and people get foie gras out of their liver. People who have tried it say the taste is buttery rich and very delicate, and it doesn't compare to eating the liver of an ordinary duck or goose. Sometimes it's sold as a whole, but it can also be sold as a mousse, parfait, or pâté. And it's also a great accompaniment to other main dishes, such as steak. According to the French law, foie gras is part of their culture and gastronomical national heritage. 
However, even though France is the largest producer of this dish, you can also get it in other European countries as well as in other places like China and the United States. Number 5 Goose Barnacles Them while swimming near piers and other platforms in the oceans, or Spongebob. Those things are painful, but apparently some of them also make for a very exclusive and delicious dish. The goose barnacles, also known as percebes, are sources from the coast of Galicia in Spain, and they have become the ultimate ingredient for just one of the creations by Justin Holm, a private chef who specializes in serving the stars. However, Justin is not the only one using them. These barnacles are highly popular in different parts of Spain and Portugal, but of course, only among the people who can actually pay for them. The sad thing about this is that there are at least five people who die each year while harvesting this rare type of barnacle. It's no wonder this dish is so expensive. Fishermen put their lives at risk while getting it. Even if they don't lose their life, they could potentially get injured. Something surprising about this rare dish is the fact that it used to be eaten by the indigenous peoples of California. This is before it became an expensive and very hard to access delicacy. Number 4 Caviar XL The world had the opportunity to try this dish. The thing is pretty expensive. But even within the world of already expensive foods, there's one that's even more expensive and more exotic than the ones we know of. Caviar XL was invented by caviar farmer Kenneth Benning from London Fine Foods. What makes Caviar XL different to the rest is the fact that it's infused with the frog spawn of African claw frog. Prior to Caviar XL, Benning's most expensive creation was the Golden Almas Caviar, which cost $4,125 for 250 grams. Now, Caviar XL is said to cost more than $100,000 per kilo. I guess whoever eats this is not just rich, but a real millionaire. Number 3 the White Truffle We actually some places that sell french fries with truffle oil. But let's be honest, that thing on your fries is not really coming from truffles. And if it is, then I guess you get paid a lot for it, because authentic truffles are insanely expensive. Especially if it's the white truffles that come from Italy. Just a single ounce can cost you 168 US dollars. And if you want to go for a cheaper option, you can go for something more common like black truffles. But still, they're about 95 US dollars per ounce, which honestly, you would only get if you had a ton of money just to give away. Originally, truffle oil was made out of olive oil infused with a bit of these expensive truffles. But now the thing is made out of lots of synthetic ingredients, which allows for us to believe that we're having an authentic and classy eating experience, even though there are no actual truffles in it. Number 2. Fugu. Honey, but it can also cost you your life. Fugu is a type of Japanese puffer fish that contains tetrodotoxin. A type of poison that is more than a thousand times deadlier than other things you ever come in contact with. This dish can't be made by anyone. People who want to learn how to cook fugu are required to go through rigorous and demanding training before they are allowed to serve it. And on top of that, they're required to get a license to be able to buy, cook, and sell this delicacy. This is why fugu is rare outside of Japan, and even if you were to find it, you should expect to spend a few hundred dollars on it, without the guarantee that you'll survive to tell the story. I think I'm gonna pass on that one. Number 1. Saffron. But it looks like some spices can actually be very expensive if you buy them raw. In the case of saffron, the price per round starts at $1,500. They usually sell it by gram, and they come from the stigmas of tiny flowers. I don't know how familiar you are with biology, but the stigma is the central part of the flower from where it reproduces. That's why they need tons of flowers to make one pound of saffron threads. In fact, it's said that a pound requires at least an acre of a few hundreds, or even more than a thousand flowers to make one pound of threads. Luckily, it's a spice, so you don't really need lots of it to cook. You can actually do pretty well with a thread or two. No need for thousands of them. The ingredient is very popular in Spain, India, and Iran, so you can expect to find it in different dishes around this region. But if you look for it in other parts of the world, you might find it at a more expensive price. In San Francisco, one person sells it for $1,162 per pound, but you can also get an ounce for $73. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe our channel and support us. Please like, share, and comment, and click the notification bell for future update and check out our other videos.